Last week, it emerged that the King had requested the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to vacate their UK-based home, Frogmore Cottage. The couple last stayed at the property during their visit in June 2022, for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Dot royal family, Harry and Meghan face balcony relegation if they attend coronation. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex confirmed on the weekend they have been invited to the coronation of King Charles. Dot Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are unlikely to play any role in the coronation besides that of spectators if they decide to attend the event. As they are no longer senior members of the firm, the Duke and Duchess are not expected to take part in the royal procession scheduled for the day King Charles and Queen Camilla will be crowned side by side at Westminster Abbey. Dot Meghan and Harry are also unlikely to be invited on the balcony of Buckingham Palace alongside the King, Queen, the Prince and Princess of Wales and other full-time working royals, if the King is to follow the blueprint created by the late Queen for her Platinum Jubilee celebrations last June. Meghan and Harry have received the invite to the coronation, one of their spokesmen confirmed. However, he did not disclose whether they can be expected to be in London in May. He said, I can confirm the Duke has recently received email correspondence from His Majesty's office regarding the coronation. An immediate decision on whether the Duke and Duchess will attend will not be disclosed by us at this time. They will have until early April to communicate to officials whether they will travel across the pond to see Charles and Camilla being crowned. Meghan and Harry under fire for having pattern of being difficult to work for. Two more of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex staffers will step down from their positions this year, bringing the suspected total to 18. Meanwhile, Ms. Taylor's exit comes as the couple were planning to streamline the company's marketing arm, according to reports. News of the departures has led some commentators to speculate about what could be happening behind closed doors at Archule. Kinsey Schofield, host of the Today for Daily podcast, described the Sussex staff as a revolving door of employees on her latest episode. Truly, I'm not exaggerating, it does feel like a revolving door of employees here in the U.S., she said. I am not familiar with the charity sector, but in the creative department, they are going through producers and they are going through people that are supposed to be managing all of this content, that we've barely seen any of. Ms. Schofield asked the author whether Archuil's staff losses make him feel better about his reporting on the allegations and it being a difficult place to work, and these people, Harry and Meghan, being difficult to work for allegedly? Mr. Lowe responded, It certainly makes me wonder whether the pattern of them being difficult to work for is continuing. Absolutely. It doesn't make me feel better because I never had the slightest doubt about what I wrote. The author went on to clarify that he doesn't know what is going on with Archul, adding, It will be fascinating to find out. Maybe one day someone will.